Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you are running an e-commerce store on Magento, keeping it up to date is a crucial for security and performance. Today I will guide you through the process of upgrading Magento 2.4 or any Magento 2.2 version to the latest version of Magento, which is Magento 2.4.7 till to date. First, always back up your store, both files and database. Next, ensure your server meets the system requirement for Magento 2.4.7. Finally, put your store into mo maintenance mode to prevent any disturbance during the pro upgrades. But I highly recommend that you should do this process inside your staging environment. Uh, let's dive into this uh, first we need to check the system requirement of our server okay so as you can see here my magento version is 2.4.0 which i'm going to upgrade to the latest version which is 2.4.7 all right so let's see what's my current version of php at the moment so i have php 8.4 and uh, my composer version is Composer 1.10. Mm, so, and and here is the instruction which I can follow to do the complete the upgrade. So I need to make sure that Composer root plugin is installed here in my machine. So I'll just check, go here and type Composer require something like that and here to um, increase the memory I'll type composer score memory limit to 1 so, um, S -E -R, memory limit okay sorry I use the equal symbol this will let me make sure that magento uh, composer root plugin 2.0 is installed this is very important plugin for all the future uh, versions of uh, magento upgrade done via composer so make sure it's already installed and then we will uh, okay here so this one is installing already installed now okay so now we will uh, make sure our backup is completed and then we will uh, hit run the maintenance command composer uh, which is maintenance enable and then we will make sure uh, disable our crons so cron is removed now and then we will take a backup of our composer file so here I have taken and the next step would be uh, if we uh, running this this command this one is for Adobe commerce and this one is for um, community edition which will be we are going to use it but in case if we have to if we are not sure what is the latest version of Magento then we can run the following command so it will just like this it will show you all the available versions in uh, the first one will be the very latest version and after that the other rest of the versions so so i will copy this and uh, note it somewhere let me type it in the front of screen and then i have to copy this and uh, change it over here okay so um, this is our main composer upgrade command so I will hit enter uh, there is something wrong which we will see what is what exactly the issue is it says um, okay sorry about that actually I hit the uh, composer a different version of Adobe Commerce so this error is showing up now I can I change the, I will put this command in the description so you will you will be able to see it now the um, composer json file is up, updated 
uh, all I need to do is I need to simply hit composer update command which you can see is given here so now uh, you can see it's giving some error so I forgot to actually upgrade the PHP and composer versions which I will do it uh, by logging to the root user so to <coughs> To upgrade the PHP, I'll just uh, switch this to PHP 8.2 and uh, to upgrade Composer, I can run this command and it will let me upgrade the Composer to the latest version. Okay, so now we are done. Uh, let's come back again and run the command. This time I'm installing with composer memory limit in case of earlier it's showing some php related error and now this is asking me to install uh, this is going to install mission to compose and installer and then root plugin i will simply this is simply adding some repository which is required to complete the upgrade progress so now you can see it has been successfully running and it's installing the latest version of magento and we have to wait for a couple of minutes to finish the progress after that we'll be able to deploy and test our site you can see the update is still going on which is about to complete it so it's basically upgrading all the installed Magento modules as well as third party modules to the latest version or compatible version okay so now let's go back and check as we are doing usb 2 so you see what's the way. Now you can see Magento has been successfully upgraded to the latest uh, Magento version. Now let's uh, disable the maintenance. And uh, run the deploy command. I simply remove all the um, generated files and run the following set of command <clears throat> so the first command is disabling maintenance mode the second is clearing all the pre-generated files and upgrading the database deploying the themes compiling the code php code and then index the re index command and then disable maintenance mode. So now you can see uh, the commands are successfully running. There is no error. If there is any error during the upgrade process, you can simply uh, debug that and uh, change the computable code from PHP 7.4 to 8.2. <coughs> So now you can see it's successfully completed. We will refresh our Magento backend to make sure that okay. So now it's asking to now it's asking me to log in once again. I'll type my username and password. Now you can see it's already updated. And this one is uh, giving a latest update, which is saying that uh, there is a critical security alert uh, value will be found, uh, which has to be updated. So if if you are using this version of Magento, then uh, it means it's already installed. And this vulnerability message is showing because of the uh, news feed. And simply, we have successfully completed the. Uh, upgrade magenta upgrade uh, tutorial now we can 
come back and enable our Chrome job which can be done using by running the following command Chrome install and uh, we can also verify our front end so everything is working fine much faster than previously all right so thank you for watching and if you have any question please feel free to comment i will try to answer as soon as possible have a good one